Oh, hello, Reject Nation. Hello. It's Greg Alba here. <laughs> and Cat Alvarado. Cat Alvarado, my, my funny, my funny friend. Funny, funny. She is going to be in New York next week, guys. If you guys are in the East Coast, make sure to catch her. She'll be performing comedy at a few venues. Off the top of my head, November 5th and 6th at 6 p.m. at the Eastville Comedy Club. November 7th at 8.30. <laughs> At the Mockingbird and November eighth at Juvenile Two Boots Brooklyn at eight p.m. <laughs> I don't know where I got the word juvenile. <laughs> I was gonna say the juvenile delinquents. <laughs> juvenile detention center. Yeah. Yeah. November 9th. Supporting for criminal teenagers. <laughs> November 9th at 8 p.m. at the Comedy Cove at Scotty's in Springfield, New Jersey. Catch her there, guys. Uh, all that's in the description box. Hey, do you like Matt Damon? Do you like Matt Damon? Yeah, he's pretty cool. Yeah, I met the guy a couple times. Yeah, he's all right. right. <laughs> he's all right. <laughs> he's a star of this new movie called Downsizing, which actually mm -hmm. looks really good. I saw Ooh, the first trailer. Sounds like Office Space. It is not Office Space. No? I can tell you that much. Is it a serious See, movie? I thought it was going to be an Office type of movie, and then you realize what they actually mean by downsizing. Just wait till you see. Oh, no. The extra large is it's about breast reduction. Cayenne, moss. And Aubrey Hayes. Plum, so I brought you black. I really want plum. Do you think moss is pretty? You know, I, I don't know, lady. Why don't you just pick a color, please? Ouch. Dave? That's Dave Johnson. He never struck me as the kind of guy to go get small. Wow. So the decision to downsize things takes the pressure right off, especially money pressure. We live like kings. We're dying to move. We're really strapped. You want my advice? Leisure lands where you want to be. In leisure land, your hundred thousand dollars translates to twelve million dollars. Wow. I just got another diamond bracelet. Pretty nifty, huh? Okay, let's go for it. Nervous? Little. Today, you will undergo the permanent and irreversible procedure known as downsizing. All clear. You better call. Call. Don't be mad at me. Please don't be mad. I can't leave my family. I can't leave my friends. I'm sorry, Paul. I should have been thinking more about myself. Thinking about yourself? I'm five inches tall! As hard as you can. No. I know this can put a pretty big dent in anyone's self esteem, but downsizing is about hitting the reset button. Start all over. I have allergies. Wait, wait. I'm going to take off my shoes. <laughs> Open your eyes. The world is filled with things to see. Something very big is happening. Something top secret. Why? Why did I downsize so that I could be here right now? I finally had a chance to do something that matters. I think we're in the normal world, and then something happens. Oh my god. We realize we're not. Huh? That looks good. Huh? <laughs> it looks like a fun movie. I like the concept of yeah. it. Yeah. What I'm kind of lost on, though, is what the plot of the movie is. Like, okay, yeah. I get it. You got the world of them being downsized. They become tiny people. Is it a story about this guy and his journey of being this little dude? Is there, then it seems like there's this mystery element I of like, like something top secret going on. It seems like there's like a two layer plot and I think it's him finding himself again and his yeah. purpose after divorce. And then there's also the environmental thing. So it almost makes me wonder if like the person who wrote it originally wrote something that was about post their own divorce and traumatic experience and then executives were like right. we don't want to buy it there's no hook and they're like what the fuck? What <laughs> yeah, okay I can see that. <laughs> what if the 
were tiny. Like, yeah. That's the pitch. That, that was it. <laughs> the last half of it seemed to go a little bit all over the place in terms of it's he's trying to help people out who are dying. And then there's some top secret thing going on. Everything's he's, big. He's trying to explore his life. Oh, Everything's wow. big. Like, there's so much going on. The first trailer seemed a lot more contained and I didn't see it. But it, it was just like a fun, like, cute trailer. And mm -hmm. they didn't reveal that Kristen Wiig doesn't get downsized in the last trailer. That which, for me was a mistake because I'm a huge Kristen Wiig fan. And I was like, this movie's gonna be awesome. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, she Oh, she's leaves. not gonna be in it for a lot of it then, <laughs> yeah. And I suddenly like went from a 10 to a four. That was a funny moment though when her only one eyebrow was shaved <laughs> showing that she like freaked out. It was like, <laughs> I can't go through with this. Hey, yeah. I feel like this might get unnecessarily dark. And when I like more of the upbeat vibe, I don't know, you know, it's the kind of film you gotta wait to really find out what you see. This is just kind of my prediction feelings. I get the impression that the first half will be a lot more enjoyable than the last half. I see this movie as like a second tier movie. Like you make your list of things you're gonna see this season that movies are out. We just reviewed I, Tanya. For me, I'm like, okay, that's at the top. Mm -hmm. for me and then it's like if I see one or two other movies this would be number three where I'd be like okay what else is yeah. there I, mean, I guess I wanna yeah let's go see yeah let's go I see mean, this just, one it yeah, just looks right. like it might get totally confusing when he's doing drugs exploring and and then with all the health problems the first trailer made me feel like this is gonna be a delight this one made me feel more along the lines of, I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy it as much as I thought I would. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, here's what I think. The plot felt like it's something more geared, scrapping the little people part. It feels like it's geared towards people who are like in their 40s, having a midlife crisis. Yeah, yeah. Like that's who's yeah. gonna and the, relate to And the writer director tends to do those kinds of films. Yeah. But my mom hates science fiction. Now, I don't know if anybody else's parent is like that, <laughs> but I feel like it would be towards people who are like our parents, yeah. kind of. If they're not into wild and wacky things the way we are, it might just be like a miss. I really can't tell how this audience. film will do. There are some trailers you see and you're like, this film's gonna be good and it's gonna be a success. And then there's trailers like this where I'm like, I have no idea if people are actually gonna tune in for this movie. I mean, like, I think it's probably gonna be good. It's probably gonna be it's good. Gonna I be just good. think it's gonna miss the mark on its intended audience. Cause I don't even think the movie knows who its intended audience right. is. They slap a bunch of famous people on there, throwing some jokes in the trailer. It's got a cool stick. Yourself. It's little people hockey for great visual effects. What I was thinking though, was I could, um, and because of YouTube guidelines, I'm gonna have to be clever with my words. I was thinking it would be fun to get downsized and um, inhale some stuff out of a pipe, some green leafy things <laughs> out of a pipe, a, a human sized pipe. <laughs> but as a miniature person, how much money would I save? <laughs> One hit a day? <laughs> I'm golden <laughs> all day long. The first trailer was more about that, the what if, like what are the advantages? And then the first trailer really explores that and you're like, man, that looks cool. Yeah. This one made it look like, this looks like a horrible idea. <laughs> Actually, this one made me not, made me really feel like, I don't think this is a good idea to do this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I wanna know why they didn't have spouses in the same room. Oh, like when they do the downsizing? Yeah, that seems like a plot hole. Like well, why wouldn't maybe she be there? Maybe some gender, it's a different gender. Mm, I don't know, I would want to be there with my significant other and that would prevent something happening like this where you guys go and you do it and then one person doesn't do it. I don't know if that's a plot hole, more like a personal preference like that you have in twist. this fictional scenario. You know, but that's why I don't have movies written because I think of this shit and I'm like, well, guess my idea just fell apart. I'm, I'm just gonna keep having my day job with that. <laughs> All right, guys, well, right. hey. December 22nd, are you gonna go catch this movie? Put it in the comments. Subscribe to The Real Rejects. Please click that notification bell. Become a Patron inject today on our yeah. Patreon. More importantly though, make sure to follow Cat Alvarado on all the social media links in the description box. And if you're in the East Coast, make sure to catch her out there performing comedy live next week. And if you're in LA, just follow her on Facebook and uh, she usually posts when she'll be performing. And who knows, I maybe do. I'll be there too.